Of all the things the state of Indiana is known for, there's corn, basketball, and that's really it. Of the two things the state of Indiana is known for, being stubborn is not one of them. But did you know that the Hoosier State did not officially observe Daylight Savings Time until 2006? And it took until July of 2016 for Indiana lawmakers to start allowing limited liquor sales on Sundays. After knowing that, it should come as no surprise to hear that medical marijuana legislation has never made it to a committee hearing in the state legislature in Indiana. Indiana is my home state, but I don't live there anymore. A big part of the reason that I left is because I'm passionate about marijuana law reform. And I can say from personal experience that it's much easier to be a part of the movement here on the West Coast than it was back home in Indiana. Like I said before, medical marijuana legislation has never made it to the committee level of the state legislature. But it's not for a lack of trying. I found this normal.org action alert in my email inbox not too long ago. A Senate lawmaker has reintroduced legislation, SB 255, to regulate marijuana access to qualified patients. The measure, sponsored by Democrat Senator Karen Tallian, establishes a statewide medical marijuana program to permit qualified patients, including patients with arthritis, migraine, PTSD, and seizures, to legally obtain cannabis products and to engage in cannabis therapy. 29 states and the District of Columbia have enacted statewide provisions allowing patients access to cannabis therapy. Indiana patients deserve the same protections. I must be paying more attention than I used to, because I've never heard of Senator Karen Tallian before. And I was super surprised to find out that this wasn't the first time she's introduced medical marijuana legislation. In fact, this year marks Tallian's sixth attempt with this type of proposal. So far, the Republican-dominated legislature has refused to allow any marijuana-related proposals to so much as receive a hearing, according to MaryJane.com. The lawmaker said last year that she could secure strong support from the Republicans if only the legislative gatekeepers would give her bills an opportunity to be heard. And that's where you come in. I'm encouraging every one of you Hoosiers out there, whether you've moved away like me, or you're still holding strong in the motherland, or even if you've watched the movie Hoosiers, I'm asking you please to contact your local representation. Let them know why this issue is important to you. I'll leave some links in the description below so it's easy for you to sign a petition or to find the contact information for your local representatives. I want to say a big thanks out there to everybody who's been watching. I've been getting a lot more comments lately, and it's always interesting to hear what you guys have to say. So thanks to everybody who's commenting. I hope you're enjoying the videos, and we'll see you on the next one.